morning to each and every one of you under the sound of my voice. This is Reverend William Holder from Faith Deliverance Santa, Smith Hill in the island of Bermuda. It is a pleasure one more time to bring to you a message from the word of God. I'd like to speak to you on the topic, delivering through God's light, shining in the darkness of this world, fulfilled in God's child of redemption, Jesus Christ. Delivering through God's light, shining in the darkness of this world, fulfilled in God's child of redemption, Jesus Christ. However, our uh, scripture text will be taken from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 4 and 5. It reads thus For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. Every battle of the warrior is bit. Confused noise and garments rolled in blood. This shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Here in verse 4 of Isaiah chapter 9, we learn that the Messiah will deliver all who are under. The yoke of bondage or oppression. Just as God gave Gideon victory over the Midianites, he will give victory to any who trust him. No matter what the bondage is that enslaves a person, Lord will infuse the person with the not power to overcome it. And if the enslavement is being forced upon a believer by others, the Lord will give the power to endure the suffering being inflicted upon him. And even if the believer is being oppressed to the point of death, the believer will be given the power to conquer death. You see, quicker than the eye can sink, believe will be escorted into the very presence of the Lord himself. Isaiah was proclaiming that the Messiah will set the people free from the enslavement being forced upon them by their enemies. They will have the power to break any oppression of bondage weighing his people down. He will deliver those who put their trust in him, breaking the yokes, bars, or chains of those who persecute his people. In First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, Paul wrote, With no temptation taken you, but such as is common to men. For God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted about that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape. You may be able to bear it. In Psalm 91 and verse 3, we told, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the father and from the noise from Pestilence. In verse 5, we have learned the Messiah will bring peace to the people and nations of the world. All military equipment and uniforms that are so often covered with blood will be cast aside and burned. Never again will the military equipment or uniform be produce. Peace will sweep the earth, both peace within the human soul and peace among nations. 
Universal Harmony Bill exists everywhere. Of course, this is a clear reference to the future kingdom of the Messiah. The Messianic kingdom known as the Millennium. Some of the predictions in this passage were obviously fulfilled when God defeated Assyria and delivered Jerusalem, according to Isaiah chapter 37, verse 1 to 38. Next, Matthew clearly states, other events found their fulfillment when Christ himself came to earth. Matthew chapter 4, verse 13 to 16. But the ultimate fulfillment of the prophecy, God, the bright and glorious future, will be in the last days of human history, during the millennial reign of Christ upon earth. But for now, however, the emphasis is upon the peace that the Messiah will bring to human hearts and to the nation of the world. In John chapter 14 verse 27, Peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world give it give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. In John chapter 16 verse 33, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be a good church, have overcome the world. Next, chapter 10, verse 36. Where is God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ? He is Lord of all. In Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord. Jesus Christ, God bless you and God be with you as the prayer of our heart.